In the last lecture, we created this controller and this action method that gets us all the regions back. But we had a hard coded list, but we don't want a hard coded list. We want the result from the database. So let's remove this and we want to use the DB context so that we can use the DB context to talk to the database and get a result back. So in the previous few lectures, we remember we have injected our DB context in the application. And because we have injected DB context using dependency injection, we can now use that DB context inside the controller through con constructor injection. So I will create a constructor for this controller. So CTOR is a short form and press double tab to create the constructor. Now you can inject the DB context class over here. So NZ walks DB context, give it a name. I will just say DB context press control dot and create and assign this private field which we can use inside the action method over here. So I will use this db context class and I want to now access the regions table so that I can get all the values back which is denoted by the region domain model. Remember we have properties inside the db context class which maps directly to the region table inside the database. So we can talk to the region table like this and now we just want to return this. So I will create a variable called regions is equal to db context class dot regions dot to list. So now with this line I am using the db context to talk to the regions and getting a list back. So I have a list which we are returning back to Swagger to display the result. And with that small change, we are now using the db context class and getting all the real data back from the database. It's now time to test this. So I'll run the application again. Uh, Swagger is running at the moment and we have the regions controller over here. So let's try the get real get all regions call again. So I'll try it out and click the execute button and entity framework core has talked to the database and the region table and it has returned us a response which is correct because we don't have anything in the regions table as of yet and this is returning an empty list back to us. So if you look at the table of regions. So select star from regions and this should give us an empty table over here. And because this is an empty table, we are getting a empty response back in the get all regions call. So now let's quickly add a region inside the SQL Server database manually just to confirm that we should see one response back over here. I have written a insert statement to insert into regions with these values. So I'm inserting one region inside the table. So execute that. And if I refresh this select list, I have one region over here now. So if I come back to my API and execute this one more time, I should now see the Auckland region, the same region that I inserted inside the SQL Server. So that proves that we are using the DB context class to access the SQL Server and database directly. And we are getting all the values of regions directly from that database. 